Are you not satisfied yet? I made videos on the Asus Prime boards, on the Aeoras boards. Oh, you want to cover an MSI motherboard that pretty much no one heard of? Well, okay, actually I will, because it turns out that this could be one of the best budget motherboards you can even buy right now. This is the MSI Pro Z690A. You can get this board for roughly $220, $230, and it does so much right, it's almost insane. In fact, one could argue it's even better than the Z690 Eros Elite, which costs a lot more. One of the things it already does better than the Z690 Eros Elite is its PCIe expandability. While the Z690 Eros Elite only had a mere 3 PCIe slots, all of them being 16x, this one did manage to find room for a nice 1x slot, which is still very important and one that a lot of people use. Now when the Euros board pulled that move off, I was kind of assuming that they did just to squeeze in those 4 NVMe slots, which is pretty awesome, but guess what? This board manages both to have that extra 1x slot and still find space for 4 NVMe M.2 slots, so you have tons of storage options, tons of expansion cards options, so it's the best of both worlds. But don't worry, because the thrashing this board gives the Z690 Eros Elite and also the ASUS Prime Z690P board I also covered recently doesn't end there. Because unlike those boards, which have a 4-pin and an 8-pin for CPU power, this board has two full 8-pins. That's right, a total of 16 pins of power going to the CPU in a board that costs just slightly above $200. But while you may be getting more power to the CPU, that doesn't mean that power will be as smooth as with something as the Z690 Eros Elite. The advantage that that board still has is when it comes to its power phases, seeing how it uses 16 phases of power that manage up to 60 amps, but while this MSI board only has 14 phases that manage 55 amps. But unless you're an extreme overclocker, odds are you won't care about this at all. And thankfully there's still a lot of other great things about the Pro Z690A from MSI. Let's talk about something way more important to more people, the rear I.O. And thankfully MSI do a great job here. Unlike a certain other company, <coughs> Aorus, MSI did remember that 6 audio jacks has kind of been the standard for almost a decade if not longer. So it's great to see that they're returning here, though a lack of any optical audio support is kind of weird. Though thankfully, unlike some other boards, <coughs> Aorus, there is a nice PCIe 1X slot here for a sound card so you can get that optical audio back if needed. Man, with all of these weird decisions regarding audio motherboards, it really seems like sound cards mean making return. Huh. Definitely subscribe because we're going to have a whole video about that topic very soon. And when it comes to all the other rear IO, it has pretty much everything you could need. It has tons of USB, both HDMI and DisplayPort, PS2 if you ever needed it, 2.5 gigabit LAN and also that lovely USB Type-C port. Though when it comes to just pure USB power, the Aeoras boards are still completely dominating over there. Seeing how the Z690 Aeoras Elite, the cheapest Aeoras Z690 board, has a whopping 9 USB Type-A ports of various speeds. Well, in comparison, this one only has 7, which will probably still be enough for a lot of people, though seeing how we're constantly plugging in more and more USB devices, it's always nice to have. And if you're wondering, the ASUS Prime Z690P comes in dead last with just 5 USB Type-A ports. So overall, this board has a great PCIe connectivity, it has great rear I.O., it has a great power delivery, I mean, it really has everything you could ever want. And if you want to buy this motherboard yourself, then make sure to use our Amazon Associates links down in the video description below and also up in iCards. And seeing how it is Black Weekend and also how Monday is coming up, you know there'll be tons of great deals on that and other motherboards. And if you use our links, you don't pay anything extra, while well, we can send the money that goes straight back into the channel to allow us to make even better videos. So it is truly a win-win. So if you buy literally anything, anything, it can even be dog food, it can even be cat food, literally if by anything using those links, it truly does help the channel. If you can help support the channel in other ways, then we also have a merch store or also our Patreon page, both of which are coming down in the video description below. And if you support the channel on Patreon, you get tons of awesome perks while also supporting the channel, even if you give just $1 a month. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lance B, and Common Gage Clothing. Thank you guys so, so much, support truly goes a long way. Danny also going to find our Discord server if you want to talk to me or us at this or whatever else really, plus the necessary social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.